just started out at my local club in Denmark. Um, I started out there playing, and that's really just what I remember. And I remember playing with my friends in, like, you know, where we where we played around where I lived and in the parks and stuff like that. Um, so that's really my first memories of it. I moved from my local team to like a kind of a big team in Denmark called Esbjerg, and when I moved there. That was like the first time where I think like, okay, this is a bit more professional. Before that, you know, just play for a bit of fun. And then when I came there, that's where, where you play with other people that want to play football. So that's probably the first time where you're thinking, okay, like, you, you know, this is, this is a thing that you want to do and stuff like that. With the train, it's about 40 minutes uh, and in the car, it's about 45, something like that. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's not far, but it's still, a, still quite a lot of traveling when you have to go there every day. Then I moved there later on, but on my own, but in the beginning, like my family and drove me there, or I took the train and they they got me or something like that. So that's a bit of a bit far away, but not not a major thing. I think it's one of them things you can't really like describe how much it means. Well, basically, like for me, I think it's it's a massive thing. Like I, I don't I never think I could be over here and play football if my family didn't like have been so nice and like the way they've done everything. Like just been. Like nice to me, and you know, just say do whatever I want, just work hard, and then then see where it takes you. That's what they've said to me all all the time. Centre midfield all the time. You know, obviously when you're a little little guy, you want to score goals and stuff like that. But in, when I remember, I've always always been a, been a midfielder. Yeah? I was on a trial when I was about 14 14 years of age, and then I went on a trial here, and then I went up a bit of a while because like certain rules you have to be in a certain age and stuff. But then I moved. Um, I moved over here and uh, it was just after that trial and then everything went went the right and I really liked the club when I was here and I think everything was just a very good opportunity for me. So um, so that's that so I took it and I've never regretted that. Uh, we've got a good relationship with um, uh, the people that look after Lassie uh, over in Denmark and uh, he was one that one that um, was highlighted to our recruitment team, and uh, not not someone really that um, that I was aware of as a, as a young player. Um, I, my real awareness was when he came into Stoke and uh, started to put in some real key performances. Um, the the big sort of standout with Lass for me would be, you know, um, he, he's not just a competent footballer. Um, he's he's the he's a super super professional, um, unbelievable character. Um, has a real drive and desire to be at the very, very top of his game. Um, so when you're looking at someone and you, you're thinking, right, well, you know, you've got to work hard with them in terms of fulfilling their potential. Lass is one that you go, do you know what? He's going to drive it as much as us. Um, so for me, uh, an excellent, excellent um, uh, young player to bring into the football club. He's, you know, he's what I would want to model a lot of the young players coming through at this football club on. All the things I know, like tactical and stuff, like that, I think I've learned it here because when I was in Denmark, you, you play, but you were know, still young, so you didn't really think much about it. But everything I've learned since, like tactical and how you have to play and stuff, I've learned it here. So, you know, and that's, that's all because of the, the coaches here in the academy, really. So, um, so now they, and they still, like every day, or like lots of days, we still speak about how, how to get on the ball, how to do stuff like that, and things like that. So um, no, a major major thing behind it, I think. As last season I started out as 18, and then I moved up to the 23s, and then didn't really have any thoughts of okay, you know, first team. But then all of a sudden I got got a chance to train with them, and um, I was thinking, you know, I need to do everything I can to to show them stuff, and um, I'll, hopefully I did that, you know, and um, how can I say? And I uh, just tried, and then. I trained a couple of times, like maybe two weeks. I had like two trainings, and then all of a sudden, like all the things just came out the right way. And then I was up there the rest of the season. So, um, so now I was happy for that. Just before the game, he just said, you know, this is your chance. Like, you know, you need to go out there and show them, like, you know, because you're never going to know before you get the chances. So, uh, so that's what he said. And um, now nah, it was probably one of the biggest days in my but life and football life, of course, uh, very, very good experience and enjoyed everything of it. Um, luckily, we won. It was, we obviously got relegated, but that, so that was not as good. But but the day I really enjoyed. I look back with with very good memories. That's just you know a bit of luck, isn't it? Like just just happy that that we put the put the ball in the net. So uh, now, nah, 
sorry for that. I should say we would be one, and that was probably the most important things to finish off a season, which hasn't been the greatest with a with a win.